right, it's Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we're doing part two of this um, failure analysis um, on these Ducati cranks. So what we're going to do is, in this video, we're just going to have a close look at some of the design features of this crank before we actually get balls deep into it. It's hot. It's hot because I had to heat up uh, this region. You can see there's some discoloration there. We'll live. I'm sure we'll get over it. Um, but you've got to take note when you do these things of what you've done to it yourself. So I just heated up these two regions. Why? Because there's these two set screws. Um, this is the blanking off for the uh, oil galleries. And that's one of the things I want to talk about. So you'll notice when you look at this crank that we have a sodding great big hole in the crank pin. You can see my hand through the back of it. This big sodding bastard here. Why is that offset? Well, it has to be offset. Um, it's not it's actually a problem due to balance because they have to offset this they want to reduce the uh, rotational mass of this uh, crankshaft which basically means that it has a lower moment of inertia um, just by basically making the whole thing lighter the crankshaft is drilled all the way through and I think it's this side that no that side's blanked off so there's a set screw in there and this one is drilled all the way through to about there basically where the main bearing is where the main bearing sits there so you can see where that ends then what they do is they cross drill this all the way through so that ends about there and if we go through that intersects with this hole in the center so that cross drilling goes all the way through there through this web if I draw this it goes basically through there like that like that into this center section I don't know how well you'll be able to make that out and then the other one does exactly the same thing it comes across there it comes right across there to that hole there basically so they cross in the center then what they do is you've got this cross pattern so if I do it on this side there's a cross pattern like that fucking pen <laughs> um, it crosses like that and as you can see these holes intersect it and I can actually see and I don't know if I can get you to see but through that hole in there we need something bright uh, something bright <laughs> uh, a bit of wire a bit of wire would be where's that electrical where's that yellow wire strip ah so we've just got some of this marine cable and if I put that through there, you can hopefully see there's a fucking get the light right. You can hopefully see the yellow bit of wire in the bottom of there. If you can't, just trust me, it's there. <laughs> Don't trust anyone, Matt. I want to see facts and I want to see proof. So basically, these two cross, um, these two um, oil feeds for the uh, big end through the crank pin. They have to get oil from uh, the oil feed system. Now, the oil feed system, as you've no noticed, that this one is open like so, and this one isn't. This one's blanked off, but there is an oil bleed hole there. Basically, if you see the size of these holes and you see the side of that one, that is in a sense to lubricate the shaft. Or I think, like I said, I haven't seen one of these engines in person. Also can act as um, a flow regulator in a sense because that hole is small and these, so that basically maintains the pressure but allows it to bleed off if the pressure or the bleed off rate isn't high enough here. Like I said, it probably lubricates something on this end as well. Um, so, people might have thought straight away, well maybe this one that's failed and it's got the crack in it and all this rubbing of bearing material is because it's the furthest away from the feed and this one's robbing it. Well obviously not because the feed comes from this direction. So this is the first one basically to see oil pressure and then this one is. So this one is the one that shit the bed. Because you have to have that cross drilling like that and because they want to lighten the crankshafts it means that they can't put this hole right there. And I've done some solid work, I basically I've built this up in SolidWorks, this model. And if you look at the picture I'm showing you now, you can see how skinny it gets in the region where the actual crank pin is. So coming back to reality, basically we're cutting right across there. And you can see that we're getting very close to cutting through here and cutting through this top bearing surface. So basically they've, they've got a very small window of opportunity to get through there. 
and if you go and offset this hole just say to down here so just say if we put that hole there and put this hole in the center you cannot intersect because you will be coming out of the bottom of the crank pin and have to go through here somewhere which you can't do and these are thrust surfaces for the con rods anyway so you basically have a very limited window of opportunity to get this through they've literally cocked this off to the side as much as they can and if you look at the amount of meat that's on here they could come up ever so slightly there's really fuck all so they put that there and they put this big dirty hole here um one question i'm sure that is around and i'll show you in um more of the analysis video when we actually look at these cracks and stuff is it's actually cracked on the inside of this web as well it's cracked on the inside of there so this isn't very far off what happened here you know what i mean it was not very far um, from failing in a catastrophic way basically they stopped and rebuilt the engine before that actually happened which is great because this means that we have two we have what would have happened uh, no what's happening and what would have happened which is absolutely fantastic even though they're different cranks um, which kind of alludes to something these are different cranks these are manufactured in different ways they have different um, flywheel um, uh, crank web masses stuff like that but you can see the cross drilling here you can see on this one where that hole comes through and how close we are this is a slight radius is this section so we're fuck all from the edge and if we poke this through here you can see that's where our cross drilling goes and comes through the other side like so and again this has a similar not the same but a similar arrangement with this lightning of the crank pin what other design features we have? We have obviously quite a long web. We have some clearances on the inside. This is basically just weight reduction if you can uh, remove weight from the outside. And we're also going to use this as an example of our rotational inertia and the flywheel effect and stuff. You can see that the weight is furthest from the rotational axis. I'll explain why that is in a future video. But you can see that it goes thin here and fat as fuck out here. And this is making the most of the mass that you have. Um, other design aspects is yes it is a shared crank pin uh, we've already gone through the counterweights of why they put counterweights instead of just drilling it is so they can add and remove if and when is necessary if you have titanium rods which these things do then you can lighten this out if you want to exchange that just say you're doing something like i don't know maybe turbo or supercharging it or something shit like that you'd want more mass because your rods are gonna have to be a bit beefier so you can basically knock these out and put brand new blank ones in these go all the way through as you can see so you basically could just put this in a jig and pop these out force these out and pop these out uh, what else is there yes i was talking about the scalloping for the um uh for the crank pin uh, oil feeds i need to check if anyone does know i need to check if this this is actually an aftermarket mod or if the scalloping is stock because on this there is no scalloping on there this is a different engine or well it, is, it does say 1098 i don't know if they didn't multi-strada 1098s and um, the cat is out of my thing um as you can tell but it's cool to see you know what I mean? it's absolutely cool to see because i'm learning just as much as you fucking guys are uh nicely polished on the inside but this has been machined after the fact you can see that the radial patterns from this process here are followed on here so this has been machined after the fact i don't know how the, well i do know how the fuck they got on there but that is quite a skilled thing to get such a good finish like they did on there there's a massive big scratch down the inside don't know what that's for and what we're going to do with this in soon is we are going to take some measurements some quite precise measurements and we're going to stick this in the crank stand and as you can see we'll be able to check out its balance and we'll also be able to check out its percentage uh, of the balance of what it's trying to offset um, i'd love to know the con rod and piston weights that'd be absolutely fantastic so i'll have to talk to mr ducati man and see if he can weigh some for me for this engine because i just love to do uh, have the weights so we can um do some more calculations and some this that and the other see what they're actually trying to do and see what the balance ratio is and so on uh the oil feed itself comes from is it this end no it's not that end the oil, the oil feed actually comes from this end up here and then feeds through and like i say it bleeds out on this uh on the um it bleeds out through the big end bearings and bleeds out through this hole i believe because that is a straight through hole that goes through to the 
gallery feed. I'm sure it does. We'll take out that. Uh, we'll take out. We'll see them. Take out now, you fucking dickhead. Uh, what we're looking for? X keys. Hopefully, this is the same size as the other ones. Yep. Uh, fuck me. Oh, gosh, you didn't want to go. These all have Loctite on as far as I'm aware. Because obviously you don't want these fucking blacking out. Because you will lose oil pressure like a son of a bitch and then your crank will destroy itself. It's a bit of knackered bit of curly on there, that's not good. So... Can I see... Yes, yeah I can see, so that does go through, straight through into the oil feed. If I push this through I can see the end flashing away. Whee! What is strange about this whole thing is this grinding on the bottom. See the whole point is these weights, these balancer weights. This one and this one seem to have done really well, that one seems to have been done really well. On this side though, that's been done really well, but I don't know who the fuck has done that. That's just a drill bit, that's not an end mill or anything. These are all drill bits as well, but that's been done a lot, lot better than that. You see it's kind of got like a triangle shape to it, and that's because you haven't engaged off the chiselling edges and it's centred properly. But it's got a massive burr on it, that's just horrible, I don't know who the fuck has done that. Um, you know, these are a lot cleaner, these ones that look like they've been done at the factory. That isn't very deep, and that one, it's very, very concentric is that one. Um, and it's a tiny amount, <laughs> an absolute tiny amount. That one's nearly all the way through. Um, yeah, so forged crankshaft, you can always tell because it has this kind of um, pattern to it. This is what the actual dies look like for the forgings. As you can see there, they've done scraped a lot off this side. A lot of work has been done to this crankshaft, believe it or not. And like an awful lot of work has been done. Um, pretty much every surface has been cut in some kind, in some respect or another. Um, quite amazing. But yeah, I think that's it for the time being. I can't think of anything else that I should point out. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.